Hello everybody, this is Chatty from ShopMeLoud.com and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can add Facebook like reactions. So you must have observed that Facebook has updated its like feature to reactions feature. Now you can react to a post and it's more than just a like button. You can tell that if you love the post, you like a post or did you find the post funny, you found the post sad or angry. Whatever the case might be, Facebook is covering almost all the major reactions and you can also do the same on your blog post so that you can know that what your readers are thinking after reading the blog post. This will help you get a reactions from your readers and your readers will be able to express more of their emotions for your blog post. So I'm going to show you that how you can add this feature to your WordPress blog. So first of all, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard. Over here, you need to go to plugins and click on add new. Now you need to search for DW reactions. I need to click on install now and activate the plugin. After that, go to settings and under that reactions. Over here, you can do all the settings of this plugin. So the first is show reactions button. So this is basically that do you want to show the reactions button or not? So obviously you want to show it as that is show reactions count. So do you want to show how many people reacted to your post? How many people liked your post? How many people loved your post? How many people found your post funny or angry or sad? So you can basically tell that how many people expressed a certain reaction. The third option is that users must be registered and logged in to add reaction. I recommend to untick this option so that each of your blog visitor can react to your blog post. Else, if you like only the registered and logged in users to add a reaction, then you can do that too. You can set the positions of the reaction buttons. This could be at the top of the blog post or the bottom of the blog post. I like it only at the bottom of the blog post because at top of the blog post, it makes no sense to me because a person has not read your blog post yet, so how he can react to it. So I like it at the bottom of the blog post. You can also select that where do you want to show your reactions. So do you want to show it on homepage, archive pages, all the posts or all the pages. I like it to be only for the posts because I do not want somebody to react to my homepage. I do not want somebody to react to my archive page or I also do not want somebody to react to my contact us page. So I only want people to react to my blog post. So we're going to scroll down and save the settings. Now we're going to go to the front end of the blog to see this feature. I'm going to click on my article and I'm going to scroll down. So here's our button and it has all the reactions similar to Facebook and it has six reactions in it. So this will help your users to express more on if they loved your blog post or they just like your blog. If you wrote a funny blog post, did they actually find it funny? If you wrote a sad story, did they actually found your story sad? So this is a really great way to collect people's reaction to your certain blog post. So I'm gonna love my blog post. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. If you love this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you need other tutorials on blogging and WordPress, just go to our YouTube channel and you'll find a ton of them. This is Chatty from ShopMeLoud.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.